For 25 or so years, I've been studying a particular stream very closely, counting the salmon that uh, spawn and die. Hanson Creek is about two kilometers long, so about a mile and a half long. It's about 12 feet wide and four or five inches deep. And in order to avoid counting the same salmon twice, we have to throw them out of the stream each day. So that's a dead sockeye. We would see that on the edge of the stream. We would count it, measure it, toss it. And I thought, well, if we gotta throw them, why don't we always throw them on the same side? And that achieves the immediate goal of having to throw them out of the stream so we don't count them twice and would enable some long-term study, even though I hadn't thought through all the details at the time. I was hoping, obviously, to see some effect. We took tree cores, trees on both sides of the stream, and we were able to look at the annual growth of the trees, and it was just really obvious. If you throw enough salmon carcasses from the stream into the woods, the trees grow faster. The salmon are essentially a fertilizer, Nearly 600,000 pounds of salmon were slung to one side of the stream over the 20 year period. It came out the way that I would have hoped, but if it had come out the other way with no effect, that's interesting too. It was an unusual experiment because typically people wouldn't have the time frame to do a multi-decade experiment like this. The question is always, well, when do you draw the line and say we're gonna analyze the data? Yep. 20 years seemed like a nice round number, to be honest. Uh, 19 probably would have worked, and so would 21. It, in science, the whole is more than the sum of the parts. Each person brought some contribution to it and allowed the whole study to be brought to fruition. It's a huge pleasure for me to get see a student go up there, they help in the field, they get turned on by the ideas. It's a sweet gig when it works out.